Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today is the second game of a four-game series between the Cubs and Reds in Cincinnati. Cubs lost the first game 6-7 in 12 innings. They've actually lost two games in a row now in extra innings. However, trying to bounce back today against the Reds and make up some ground in the division. So, let's see what today's game has in store for us. The Cubs are going to send out a lineup of Tauschman, Fletcher, Bryant, Baez, Shaw, Hayward, Santana, who had a monster day yesterday in a losing effort. Fegley will be the catcher today for Contreras, and Chris Archer will be the Cubs starter. Archer is apparently pitching on short rest today, only having started four days ago. Interesting decision by Mr. Ross right there. The Reds are going to send Senzel, Winker, Castellanos, Suarez, Mustakas, Van Meter, Akiyama, Casali, and Anthony Descarflani will be the Reds' starter today. For the Reds, uh, the starting pitcher has made 12 appearances. He is 3-3 three three with a 547 ERA and a 141 whip. Cubs starter Chris Archer is making start number 14. He is 4-5 and five with a 3.80 ERA and a 140 whip. Let's get today's game started. It is 73 degrees out, wind blowing, slight breeze out to right at 8 MPH. And look at this, a beautiful day for baseball. Cubs need to get back in the wind column today. We have the Cubs coming in third place in the NL Central at 31 and 33. The Reds leading the division at 35 and 28 and have taken four out of five so far from the Cubs this season. So, Anthony DeSclafani is on the mound for the Reds and here is the first pitch. And Tauschman grounds weakly to the left side, however, the pitcher is not able to get there in time, and Tauschman has an infield single. And that'll bring up Dave Fletcher, playing second and batting second. He comes up with a two and one count, nobody out, runner on first. And here's the pitch, and that's gonna be a base hit to left field. Tauschman rounds second, but he holds. Fletcher has a single, the Cubs have led off this game with back-to-back -back base hits, and now Chris Bryant will be the batter. Chris Bryant batting with a 1-0 count. Nobody out. Runners on first and second. And Bryant pops it up to left. That'll be playable. And that'll be caught by the left fielder. However, he was running away from the infield when he caught it. Tauschman is able to tag up and go from second to third. So now there's one out. Runners on the corners. And Baez is the batter. Bryant is credited with a sacrifice on that hit. One ball count to Baez. Here's the pitch. And Baez also pops it up to left. I don't know if this is going to be deep enough. The runner on third, Tauschman, tries to score. He is safe. The Cubs have a 1-0 lead on the Baez sacrifice fly. Well, Tauschman tested Winker's arm, and he came out on top that time. Now Travis Shaw is going to bat with two outs. Runner on first. One run already in. 2-2 count to Travis Shaw. And that was a changeup. He was way out in front of it. Strikeout for number three here in the top of the first. We're going to the bottom of the first of a 1-0 Cub lead. Senzel is the batter against Archer. 1-2 count. Archer looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Archer... Starts out the game with a strikeout, and now Winker is the batter. One out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch from Archer. That's going to be a line drive into right field, beyond the reach of a diving Fletcher, and out in, into right field for a single. Castellanos now the batter. Runner on first, one out. Archer, pretty good at inducing double playground balls. Let's see what he can do here. Full count pitch. That is low, that is ball four, slider that was down and away. So now the Reds have first and second and one out and Suarez is the batter. 
One and two count to Suarez. And that'll be lined into the gap in left center field. That was just perfectly placed. The runner on second is going to come all the way around and score. The Reds have tied this game at one. That base hit found absolutely the perfect place out in no man's land between the shortstop center fielder and left fielder. And that'll be an RBI single for Suarez. Moustakas now the batter. One out, two men on. One strike count to Moustakas. Here's the pitch. Oh, he nods him off. Here it comes. Grounder up the middle. Baez has it. Steps on second. Throws to first. There's that double play ground ball. So that ends the Reds inning. But not before they score a run. They get one run on two hits and a walk. We go to the top of the second inning of a 1-1 tie. Hayward will lead off for the Cubs in the top of the second inning. Full count, payoff pitch to Hayward with nobody out. And that is outside, apparently. The catcher felt like they got squeezed a little bit on that one. And now Santana is going to bat with Hayward standing on first and nobody out. One ball count to Santana. Here it comes. Santana hits it up the middle. That'll be a routine ground ball. The throw to second is in time. However, Hayward is able to break up the double play. And Santana is safe at first on the fielder's choice. Fegley now the batter. He comes up. Runner on first, one out. And Fegley looking for the first pitch. Ooh, and there's a steal attempt. The slide, and Santana is safe. He is safe at second on the stolen base attempt. Nice heads up play there by Danny Santana to swipe the bag and now Fegley is batting with a runner in scoring position and one out. Here comes the pitch. Rounder to third. He looks the runner back to second, throws across the diamond to retire Fegley in plenty of time for out number two. Archer now the batter. Archer has not exactly contributed to his own cause so far this year. He is one for 21. One and two count to Archer. Right. Swing and a miss, strike three on a pitch that was way outside. Well, the Cubs strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the second of the 1-1 tie. Josh Van Meter, Red's first baseman, will lead off in the bottom of the second inning for Cincinnati. Two and one pitch from Archer. And here it comes. That's a little nubber out in front of the mound. That's gonna be fielded by Fegley, thrown down to first for out number one. Akiyama will now bat. Ball one, pitch. Here it comes from Archer. That's a grounder up the middle. Baez was positioned perfectly on that shift. He fields, throws to first, and Akiyama is retired for out number two. And now Kasali is the batter. Kasali will come up with two outs and nobody on. One, one count. Archer with the pitch. Grounder to short. Baez has it again, this time from the normal shortstop position. And Baez guns him down at first for out number three. We are going to the top of the third inning of a 1-1 tie. Mike Tauschman will lead off for the Cubs in the top of the third inning. The Cubs have turned the lineup over in the first two. Full count pitch. Here it comes. So way and a miss, strike three. Tauschman goes down on strikes. That is punch out number three for De Sclafani. And now Fletcher, with a one and two count, is waiting for the pitch. There's a grounder to short. The throw goes to first, and Fletcher's retired for out number two. Chris Bryant now the batter. Chris Bryant had a sacrifice. Oh, he's considered to be 0 for 1. I thought they ruled that a sack fly in the first inning. Well, regardless, he's in here now with one ball count. And here comes the pitch. Grounder to short. The throw goes to first, and Brian is retired for out number three. We go to the bottom of the third of a 1-1 game. De Scalfani will lead off for the Reds in the bottom of the third. Archer with a 2-2 count, coming to the plate. Ground to the third, Bryant has it, throws to first. That is out number one. Senzel is the batter with one out, nobody on. One strike count, Archer with the pitch. Popped up to the right side. It looks like Fletcher's going to be under that, and he is going to put it away for out number two. Winker now the batter with two outs and nobody on. 2-2 two, two count. Archer coming to the plate. 
That's lined into left field. Tauschman is not going to get there. Winker managed to hit that one against the shift, and Tauschman was out of position. He plays it on a hop. Winker has a single. Third hit for the Cincinnati in this game. Castellanos now the batter with two outs and one man on. One strike count to Castellanos. And that's also hit well in the left field. Tauschman's going to play that one on a balance again. He throws to third to prevent the runners from continuing to advance, but that is back-to-back -back singles for the Reds with two outs in the bottom of the third inning. And now Suarez is the batter. First and second, two outs, full count, payoff pitch. That is ball four up and in. Archer struggling to get the third out here in the bottom of the third. Mastakas now is the batter with two outs and the bases loaded. Man, Archer was cruising right along and now he has hit a serious bump in the road. Full count pitch to Mastakas. Here it comes. And he strikes him out looking. Wow. Mastakas looked like he wanted to argue that one, but he just walked back to the dugout. So that'll bring us to the top of the fourth inning of a 1-1 tie. Baez will lead off for the Cubs. He has a sacrifice RBI in the first inning. And here's the first pitch to Baez. Grounder to third. The throw goes to first. Baez is retired for out number one. Shaw now the batter. Travis Shaw coming up. 0 for 1 today. 1-1 one, one count to Shaw. Here's the pitch. That's going to be laced into right field right at Castellanos. He comes in and makes the catch for out number 2. Hayward now the batter with two outs. Nobody on. 2-2 two, two count. Hayward pops it up to right. This is going to be an easier play for Castellanos. He gets under it and makes the catch for out number 3. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and it is a 1-1 tie between the Cubs and the Reds. Archer will face Van Meter. He will have the 6-7-8 batters coming up in the Cincinnati lineup here in the bottom of the fourth. One ball count, Archer coming to the plate. That's hit pretty well down the right field line. It looks like it is going to be gone. Van Meter has broken the tie with a solo home run to right field, 367 feet. That is home run number seven for Josh Van Meter. And the Reds now lead this game two to one. Akiyama now is the batter. He's coming up with a one one count, nobody out, waiting for the pitch. Grounder to third, Baez has it. Excuse me, Bryant has it. Throws to first, four out number one. Casali now the batter. Casali comes up with a one and two count and one out. And he swings and misses for strike three. And now the pitcher, Desclafani, will bat with two outs and nobody on. First pitch from Archer, here it comes. Grounder to third, oh, and Bryant kicks it. He does not make the play. Bryant is charged with an error. Desclafani is safe on first. And now Senzel is going to be the batter with two outs and a runner on first. Full count pitch to Senzel. Here's the batter. Swing and a miss, strike three. Archer gets strikeout number four to end the fourth inning. However, the Ruds do score a run on the solo shot. We go to the top of the fifth of a two-to-one ball game. Santana now is the batter. He's going to lead off for the Cubs in the top of the fifth. 2-0 count. Santana lays down the bunt, well placed. The throw goes to first and Santana is safe. He bunts his way on base with a lead off single here in the top of the fifth. Fegley now is the batter. Fegley is coming up with a full count and one man on. And Fegley lines a single into center field. Santana stops at second. The Cubs have first and second, nobody out. And now Kipnis is going to be the pinch hitter. He is going to be brought in for the pitcher's spot, which means that Archer's day is done. This is interesting considering the Cubs have played back-to-back -back extra inning games, and they're going to the bullpen early today. If we look at the Chicago bullpen, which it's not showing me. Oh, it's because over here, 
Yeah. Everybody is kind of tired today. I guess Birdie's going to come in and get some work. Aside from that, I'm curious to see what David Ross's plan is for this game. So now, Kipnis is going to be the batter with first and second, nobody out. And a 2-2 count. Desclafani makes the pitch. Slow roll into third. The throw goes to second. But the Reds are not able to complete the double play. Oh, and Moustakas is injured out at second base. But it looks like he's going to stay in the game. So Santana advances to third. Kipnis is safe on first on the fielder's choice. And now Tauschman is going to bat with the tying run 90 feet away. One out in the top of the fifth inning. Full count. Grounder up the middle. Throw to second. Oh, but they're not able to complete the double play again. It looks like the double play was broken up at second base, and that allowed the tying run to score. I thought that was going to be an inning-ending double play, but Tauschman is safe on first on another fielder's choice, and the runner scores from third, which was Santana, and now Fletcher is coming up in a newly minted 2-2 tie with two outs, runner on first in the top of the fifth inning. Full count pitch to, to Fletcher, and he grounds to second. This time the Reds only need one out to get out of the inning. They throw to first to end the frame. Well, the Cubs have tied the game as Cincinnati fails to capitalize on a couple of potential double play ground balls. We go to the bottom of the fifth of a 2-2 tie. So, the Cubs are bringing in Casey Sadler. He is going to face the three, or excuse me, the two, three, and four batters in the Reds lineup here in the bottom of the fifth inning, trying to preserve this 2 2 tie. One and two count. Sadler looking in, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Sadler starts out the inning in overpowering fashion with a strikeout. Castellanos now the batter with one out, nobody on. One ball count. Sadler with the pitch. That's going to be a liner out into center field. That'll be a single for Castellanos. Gets the one out base hit. He is now standing on first, and Suarez will be the next batter. Suarez comes up to face Casey Sadler. One out, one man on. Two and one count. There's the pitch. Grounder up the middle. Baez has it. He does not throw to first. He just hangs on to the ball. It looked like Suarez was going to get an infield single no matter what. Once that got past the, kit, the pitcher's mound, there really wasn't much chance to throw out Suarez at first. Now Castellanos has advanced to second. The Reds have Moustakas up with one out, first and second. And the Cubs trying to get out of this fifth inning. Three and one count to Moustakas. Sadler looking in, here's the pitch. Popped up, short center field. That's gonna be playable. The runners will not be able to tag up. That is out number two as Santana puts it away in center field. Got the ball in quickly to prevent Castellanos from tagging up and advancing. And now Josh Van Meter, who had a home run his last time up, is the Reds batter with two outs and two men on in the bottom of the fifth inning. One and two count to Van Meter. Here's the pitch. Popped up on the infield. Baez shifts over, makes the catch. That is out number three. Well, the Cubs walk the tightrope, and they do escape the fifth inning. We're going to the top of the sixth now of a 2-2 tie. Chris Bryant is going to lead off for the Cubs. He has not been hitting well of late. He is actually the current snowman in the Cub lineup. So Bryant, with an 0-2 count, waiting for the pitch. That's going to be a little looper out into center field. That is going to be a single for Chris Bryant to lead off the top of the sixth inning. Baez now the batter. Baez coming up with Bryant on first, nobody out. First pitch to Baez. Another little liner. Oh, but that's going to be caught. That is an amazing diving catch by Akiyama. And it has started to rain here in Cincinnati. 
It's a good thing this is a tie game, because otherwise the umpires might be a little too prone to just call the game early. So Shaw is going to bat with one out, one man on. Desclafani at 85 pitches facing Shaw. That's going to be a pop-up to left. Winker is under it. He makes the catch and throws it back into the infield for out number two. Bryant is still on first. Hayward now the batter with two outs and runner on first. One and two count to Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hayward pops it up on the infield. The catch is made and that is out number three. Well, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Cubs strand a runner. They do not score. It is still a 2-2 tie. The next pitcher to come out of David Ross's bullpen is going to be Brandon Morrow. He will be brought in to face the 7, 8, 9 batters in the Reds lineup in the bottom of the sixth inning. I would be interesting to see if we get a pinch hitter for the number nine spot if the Reds get anybody on base because Joey Votto is lurking in the shadows in the late innings of this game. One strike count, Morrow looking in. And here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, they, that was a swing and a miss. But the umpire calls catcher interference, which means the catcher's glove must have touched the bat. So Akiyama heads down to first. And now Kasali is the batter with nobody out and a runner on first base. 2-2 two -two count to Kasali. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Kasali chased one that was down and in. Oh, Freddie Galvis. Well, the Reds did find a pinch hitter for the pitcher spot, however, it's not Joey Votto. It is, in fact, Freddie Galvis, who also hit a home run in yesterday's game. Galvis stands in from the left side as a switch hitter with one out and the potential go-ahead run on first. First pitch from Morrow. And that is lined into right field. He got all of that one. Freddie Galvis has just given the Reds a 4-2 lead. That was the very first pitch that he saw from Brandon Morrow. And he turned on it and sent it into the seats. 397 feet out to right field. That one was never in question. Nick Senzel now is going to be the batter. Reds now have a 4-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth. Morrow working with an 0-2 count. Here comes the pitch. So wing and a miss, strike three, Morrow. Sends him back to the dugout on a 99 mile an hour fastball. And now Winker is the batter. Winker comes up with two outs, nobody on, 2-2 two -two count. And there's a grounder to second, Fletcher has it, throws to first for out number three. Well, the Cubs have to dig their way out of another hole, trailing the Reds four to two in the top of the seventh inning. And Robert Stevenson is gonna be the new pitcher for the Reds. He will come in to start the seventh inning due to the pinch hitter that was used in the bottom of the sixth. One and one count. Stevenson pitching to Santana. Here it comes. Santana pops it up to right. That should be routine. Oh, and it's dropped. The right fielder drops it. Castellanos just made his second error of the season and Santana is safe on first. Man, that guy, he just gets on base every single way imaginable these last two games. Fegley now is going to bat with nobody out and a runner on first. Fegley is going to be, he is one for two today, and he is looking for a one and one pitch. And that's a bulk. Stevenson is angry with the umpire. Santana advances to second. Fegley. Fegley is now going to bat with a two and one count. And he lines a base hit up the middle. Santana rounding third. He is going to come home and a score. Fegley is going to have an RBI double. And the Cubs have made this game four to three. Well, thank you, Mr. Stevenson, for the ball, which put Danny Santana in scoring position. And now 
Ian Happ is going to be the pinch hitter for the pitcher's spot. He comes up, batting from the left side as a switch hitter against Stevenson with nobody out and the tying run standing on second base. Two and one count to Happ. Stevenson with the pitch. Happ lines that one into left field. That's another base hit. Fegley stops at third wisely. He would have been thrown out by about five miles if he had tried to score on that play. Happ has a single, and now Tauschman is the batter with runners on the corners and nobody out. Cubs trying to come back against a 4-3 deficit. One and one count to Tauschman. Here's the pitch. Tauschman grounds weakly to the shortstop. The infield was drawn in. The only play, however, is at first. Happ advances to second. Fegley stays on third. And now Dave Fletcher is the batter. The infield is still drawn in. Fletcher really just needs to get one over Senzel's head out in the left field, and it's going to drive in two runs. Three and one count to Fletcher. That is outside. That is ball four. So the bases are loaded. Critical situation here in the top of the seventh inning. Chris Bryant has just stepped up into the batter's box. He comes up with the Cubs in a 4-3 deficit. Bases are loaded. One out. Chance to get back in this ball game. 2-0 count to Bryant. Here's the pitch. And Bryant lines it down the left field line. One run scores. Another run is going to score. Bryant cruises into second with a three-run RBI double as the runner from first all, comes all the way around to score. Fletcher, Happ, and Fegley all scored on that play. And now the Cubs own a 6-4 to four lead. Chris Bryant is standing on second base. He's just driven in three. Baez is the batter. And the Reds are going to bring in a new relief pitcher. This is going to be Nate Jones. Jones is going to come in in relief of Stevenson here in the top of the seventh inning with the Cubs now in possession of a 6-4 to four lead. One ball count. Baez waiting for the pitch. And here it comes. And Baez crushes it out into center field. That's over the center fielder's head all the way to the wall. Bryant is coming around. He is going to score. It is 7-4 Cubs. Baez has an RBI double. And now... Now the Cubs have scored five runs in the top of the seventh inning. Huge rally here coming in today. Shaw now the batter with one out, one man on. One and two count to Shaw. Cubs trying to continue to add to this lead. Shaw swings and misses for strike three. He heads back to the dugout. Now Hayward is the batter. Hayward comes up with two outs and a runner in scoring position. Two, two count to Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hayward swings and misses and the inning is over. The Cubs score five runs on four base hits with an error and now lead this game seven to four. In the bottom of the seventh inning, we are going to get a new Cub reliever. It is going to be right-hander Tyson Miller. He threw two and, two third, two and a third innings yesterday, and he's right back out there to come at it today. So, three and one count from Tyson Miller. Facing Castellanos, lead off the bottom of the seventh. And that is inside for ball four. Tyson Miller has just walked leadoff batter in the bottom of the seventh. Suarez now the batter. He comes up with nobody out, runner on first. First pitch to Suarez. Here it comes. And that gets away. That's a changeup in the dirt. That's going to be a wild pitch. Castellanos heads down to second. Suarez is now waiting for a 2-2 pitch from Tyson Miller. That's lined into center field. That looks playable. Oh, it's going to be played on a hop. I don't understand why. I feel like Santana should have run in on that ball and made the catch, but instead he hung back and waited for it to come to him. So now the Reds have something going. They have first and third nobody out, and Moustakas is the batter. And Miller is going to have to face the next three batters are all lefties. Oh, well, we'll see how this goes. Miller... Facing the stock as nobody out runners in the corners. One and two count. Miller looking in. Here's the pitch. Popped up to left. That should be playable. 
It is caught, the throw comes home, the runner comes home, and the throw is late. Castellanos is safe at home. The Reds score their fifth run of the game. They still trail 7-5. That would be a sacrifice fly for Mike Moustakas and an RBI. Van Meter now the batter. He comes up with one out, one man on. First pitch to Van Meter. That is lined into center field. That is going to be over the wall. That is going to be a second home run of the day for Josh Van Meter. Two run shot, 421 feet, and this game is tied once again. And now we are going to see Sammy T coming into the game. He is going to pitch to Akiyama with one out, nobody on. Three runs already in this inning. One and two count from Sammy T. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a single in the right field. That's a base hit over the second baseman's head. Akiyama stops at first as Hayward gets the ball back into the infield. And now Casali is the batter with one out, one man on. 2-2 two -two count to Casali. Here's the pitch. That is another line shot. That one's to left center field. That is going to clear the wall. Man, that was 448 feet out to left center field. That is one of the longest home runs we have seen this year. The Reds now lead this game 9-7 as they have just responded with their own five-run rally in the bottom of the seventh inning. Sammy T is now going to face Derek Dietrich with nobody out and a 2-2 count. Excuse me, one out, nobody on base. And Dietrich hits that one hard to right field. However, that one just drops in front of Hayward for a single. Didn't actually clear the wall. Senzel now the batter with Dietrich on first, and the Cubs bring in a new relief pitcher. This is Ian Kennedy. Ian Kennedy is going to pitch to Senzel with one out, one man on, 1-1 one, one count. Popped up on the infield. Baez goes back. He makes the catch actually in short center field for out number two. And now Jesse Winker is the batter with two outs, runner on first. First pitch to Winker. Here it comes. And that is lined into right field. Hayward is going to play that on a bounce. The throw goes to third, however, and Hayward throws out Dietrich at third, trying to extend the rally. He was trying to go first to third on that single. But Hayward flashes the arm and throws him out. Well, the Reds score five runs. They have retaken the lead at 9-7. to seven. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Santana, now the batter, he's going to face Lorenzen here in the top of the eighth. One ball count to Santana. He has been red hot. Here comes the pitch. And Santana lines another base hit out into right field. Santana stops at first with a single. And the Cubs are trying to get another rally going here in the top of the eighth. Fegley, now the batter. The pitcher's spot due up next. Fegley the umpires have just called a rain delay and it is raining and it is raining and it is raining and this game has been called due to bad weather man the Cubs just cannot catch a break against these Reds they literally just finished a five run rally in the bottom of the seventh and now the game is called in the top of the eighth. Somebody needs to call Rob Manfred and start an investigation because this is unacceptable. So the player of the game is the Reds' Josh Van Meter. He hit two home runs in today's game, home runs number seven and eight on the season for him. He went two for four with two runs scored and three RBIs. The... Cubs starter Chris Archer only went four innings. Five hits, two runs, both earned. Two walks, four strikeouts. The loss is pinned on Sam Tuavelia. 
he allowed three hits and two runs without recording an out. The win goes to Nate Jones out of the Reds' bullpen. And Mike Lorenzen gets save number three. Although he didn't actually record an out, he was simply standing on the mound when the rain delay was called. He allowed a base hit, and then the game was over, and he gets credit with a save. That's how ridiculous this is. Anyway, thank you for listening to Replacement Player Baseball.